Welcome to Stream, a Truck Tractor Trailer.com production. My name is Zach Miller. I'm your host, and I'm honored today to be joined by uh, Juliet Maza, who is the Chief Marketing Officer here at Truck Tractor Trailer.com. Juliet, welcome to Stream. Thank you, Zach. It's a pleasure to be here. It, it you know, it's 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 funny. Um, occasionally, uh, people do invite themselves on Stream. It's not always just me uh, pu putting out the invite, and 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 Juliet rightly. Um, invited herself this week because we had a really great conversation uh, recently with Alan Anastasio, who's trucktractortrailer.com's head of sales and sales operations. And we were talking about the dealership benefits. You know, this is something that uh, we've discussed a lot, um, the dealership benefits that we offer at trucktractortrailer.com. And Juliet, being the, the great uh, marketing chief that she is, says, wait a second, you guys didn't even talk about any of the marketing that we do. Um, you know, it's, it really is the special sauce here at TTT is the marketing, and you guys forgot to mention it. So I'm coming on stream to talk about it. So Juliet, we we really appreciate that. And but and let's let's get into this though. Let's talk about really what makes the TTT marketing machine work. <laughs> So in addition to the um, great customer service um, our, that we provide to our dealers, we we really, our, our aim is really to be a partner to the dealers mm -hmm. and provide great marketing support to them. Um, and what's unique about us is that we have a, um, we have a team of marketers that create our own content, starting with our media channel stream, but we also have customized in-house creative which is very unique for the trucking industry. Mm -hmm. um, we can create all sorts of content. We also have uh, are very assertive and consistent about what we're doing um, through our omni-channel cha marketing. Um, we are posting, creating unique posts and posting on Facebook, for example, twice a day, seven days a week. That is something unique. Um, we have a pretty good following that for... Um, the time that we've been in the market, and we're growing very quickly. Yeah, and I think that, you know, a, a couple of, of interesting points you had there, I do want to discuss, because uh, a big one is the 24-7 one. Um, and that's something that we get a lot, we get a lot of activity, you know, from Friday afternoon to all the way to Monday morning. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that we will put ads up there, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, we'll put them up on the weekend and because that's when people are available, people see it and they get in touch with us. And, you know, all of a sudden Monday morning rolls around and um, we have a lot of people we need to get back to, you know, before the work week officially starts. Yeah, so we, we do integrated campaigns in addition to, um, you know, on, on our media, and then we we blast that stuff out in addition to the products throughout the week, throughout the weekend. Uh, we have interactive, um, you know, we're communicating with prospects throughout the weekend, and that's our platform manager and our, our customer service. So we are, as you say, we're always on. Um, we're always there for customers and prospects. We have pre-qualified buyers on our side that we work with as well as you know working closely with the dealership to help them market their their assets better um, we also do weekly email campaigns mm -hmm. to 30,000 um, you know recipients and growing uh, and so we we are you know putting out a lot of marketing i think more marketing than um, others competitors in our space be it a listing site or an auction site yeah, I, I and and I'm glad you brought that up because I wanted to I wanted to ask about that because my the the way I looked at it a lot of times is your listing site, even your auction house, they will certainly take the inventory and put it up there, but I don't quite see that aggressive advertising from the listing site from the auction house. And I think it's sort of like um, 
it, it, you know, it's one thing to just have something there. I mean, let's be honest, many of the dealers on their website, you know, you could go to the website, their website, and here, here's what it is. But you have to, in a competitive space, you really have to blast that out there, um, you know, as, as often as possible. And I think that's really where one of the big differences comes in. Yeah, and not only are we pushing out the the products, but we are actually investing and spending money against them. We we um, boost on Facebook. We boost all of the products that we're representing. So those you know dealers who are under subscription with us are getting advertising um, and marketing dollars behind their products. In addition to to email, we include them in all our email campaigns so that you know people will oh you know, there's a truck here and then they get that through the email as well. So there's multiple ways that we are, um, like you said, blasting out. It's not a static thing just sitting on our site. It's something that's being pushed out into our community, into the ecosystem of uh, trucktractortrailer.com. Also LinkedIn, which is something mm -hmm. I think um, unique that we are doing and that we're pushing out um, assets and deals through LinkedIn. Uh, and we have a very, very strong following there among our team. Yeah. And, and, and I think that, um, it's, it's so interesting where, you know, and, and when we had Alan on, we, we talked a lot about the digital shift that happened, um, spurred on by the pandemic. And I think that really did trickle to LinkedIn because, because I agree with you. And I see a lot of buy and like legitimate buy and sell activity on LinkedIn that, you know, for, for trucks, for trucks and trailers that I wasn't really seeing um, pre-pandemic. And I, and I think, you know, to your point, you know, the, your team, uh, your marketing team at TTT did a great job of really seeing that and capitalizing on that. Yeah, I mean, we just really want to be that support. We want to be that extra arm, extra hand for the dealers and the dealerships, um, you know, not to replace what they're doing, but to just, you know, be an adjunct support at, for a great value also. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's, that's really what it should be. I mean, that's what, that's what marketing is all about. It's, you know, you're, you're, you're looking to, to increase the sales. You're not looking to, to replace anything. It's just, it, it, you know, it's, a, it's about it, that boost, that enhancement that, mm. that, you know, is so important to have in the marketplace right now. Absolutely. But, Juliet, thanks. Thanks for joining us today. Really appreciate it. And, you know, anyone, you know, dealers, you're interested in, in, in our services, by all means, you can contact uh, any of us at truckactortrailer.com, um, you know, and we could schedule a demo and, and, and have that conversation moving forward. And of course, if you like the content you see, please subscribe to stream and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.